So this is a video on how to remove a intake manifold on a 2018 up GT. I'm taking this off because I am going to be going Holly. I'm swapping it out for the stock one for now because I am selling this tomorrow. But I'll be showing you how to take off the intake. I'm already taking off the sensor here. I'm taking this off. You just press this, pulls off, press that, pulls off. It's over there. I've already done the fuel line disconnect from here. It's just that green tab. You pull it back, push it down, disconnects from the fuel line right there. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be going through it today. Make sure you guys disconnect your fuel pump first, which here's how you do it. So you guys are going to go in your car. You're going to lift up the back seat. You're going to take that guy out right there that uh, putting it. Pull out the red tap first, disconnect. You're good to go. Start it up a few times, let it die a few times so the gas don't leak. Hence why it's not leaking anything. And um, so, yeah. And so now we're going to move on and take it off the intake. So, you guys are just going to loosen this right here, the clamp on the intake. And uh, it should come off. Hold on. Yeah, now it should come off now. It's not, oh, no, it's probably still a little bit tight. But you just gotta loosen that right there, the clamp on the intake around the throttle body. It should just wiggle off of your throttle body. So we'll get back when it's done. So once you have done that, we are going to pull out this locking tab here and disconnect the, disconnect this. You're also going to disconnect the PCV, or I think so, you connect the catch can to. It's just two little clips and it comes off. And then you're also going to disconnect this guy. I have nothing on there because I took it off before, but pull it out. This one, same thing, you want to push the green tab just enough where you can get it off of there. Sometimes it be a little turd. So want to make sure that you can get it off but yeah this one's next also you want to disconnect this right here so you get all these out the way so next up is taking off the four bolts up here and move the heater hoses out of the way as well so you can get access to taking these taking these little brackets off so yeah we're going to take these off they're actually four 10 millimeters them four tans off of there and we will be removing those right now so i got that out of the way for the pcv system you just take it off of these little right things right here disconnect this plug put it to the side i'm not trying to do the most and disconnect everything so that's to the side fuel line is to the side and next up is taking off these little styrofoam things which should be pretty easy to do shouldn't be it's gonna be tough. You just pull them off. And I'm just gonna throw them in the box right there. And then same thing on this side. You don't need to disconnect the fuel line here. I will need to disconnect it from the uh, from the pump down here once I go Holly. And um, but yeah, to do this, you don't need to do it. You just swing the fuel the uh, fuel line and fuel rails two over here and i'll show you that in a second so now that this has been removed the styrofoam piece you have access to your fuel injector clips down in there and uh you just pull the heater hose to the side so you can get access to them we got one two three four and same thing on the other side manifold bolts are down in there you got one two three so you got six total to do and um yeah so you also got two tens right here to take off then you just pop it out and i'll show you that right now now that the fuel line has been unbolted which is four of them you're gonna now need to unclip these uh, fuel injector clips and it can be a little pain to get up in there for this one so i'll get back to you guys in a second so I got the fuel line out. The hose is in the way. I didn't want to take it out, so I just moved it to the side, flipped it over that way, 
also while you're here make sure you got all the rubber grommets on your injectors which is these guys the o-rings make sure they're on there make sure they're good um i need to clean my s e85 for y'all but yeah uh do that it's gonna be six eight millimeters these are eight so this is coming off this is coming off and uh do not use a gun by gun i mean that gun to put the manifold on just use a good old wrench you know snug it you know get it so it's pretty tight by hand and use a regular ratchet for that and you should be good so we're gonna get that done next so it is off now that is the manifold it's pretty gonna miss that but the holly's gonna be a lot better so yes we are going holly fight ram guys while you're in here um i mean yeah i would say clean it up a little bit you know get it nice for the new manifold i'm just throwing the stock one back on for right now I'm gonna use the money from selling that guy over there for the holly parts but yeah so i'll get back to you guys with the new manifold on so OEM's back in the car, put the throttle body on, put the six bolts in, put the two bolts for the injectors, they just pop in. Make sure you can hear a pop and you'll feel a pop. I got the, the injector harness on this side, fuel line back in, fuel pressure sensor back in. And we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side of the vehicle. Um, so let's get it up in here. It's gonna be hard to get yeah, I'll get back to you guys when it's done because it's hard to do when handed. And then now you guys are gonna want to put the styrofoam piece on. They're gonna face towards the front of the car and get it on there nice and snug. I got the PCB side back on. I just need to bolt it in. You want to put that white clip clip back in there. Make sure it snaps shut. This is gonna go right on top right here. You just clip it shut now. So once it once that is done, we're gonna throw up this back on top here as well um oh damn so <laughs> i need to take this back out again i have it under it's supposed to be over so we're gonna switch that right now so once this is back in this area you connect this one and connect this guy to this uh, little plug right here i just want to get it up in there should be good and um this piece right here is gonna go under your heater hose back where it's supposed to go so i want to just slide that back under there back in the place where it's supposed to be uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do one-handed guys but you get you get the idea and so that's how you do it intake is back on this one's connected that's connected this connected this this that Got the top pieces on there and mass sensor in. So the car should be ready. Make sure you check all your connections. So just press down on everything that you've connected. Double check your work when you're working on cars. It should be no brainer, but just push everything. Push, pull, push, push. And this is for you guys who don't have much experience. Just double check your work. You can never be too sure. Make sure everything's connected. Intake, everything's connected on the manifold. Everything's connected in the front here, on the side here. Again, push your connections in. All the fuel injectors should be in. Yep. Get this one in the back. Okay, cool. And uh, should be everything. So now we're gonna go connect the fuel pump, fire up the car see how everything is running so again, to connect the fuel pump you just slide that in push in that clip make sure everything's good and, uh, this piece try to circle it around this way if you can yeah, get, just get this piece on we'll do that right now so after we're done, open up the car and uh, fire it up.
howling noises that seem like a vacuum leak. Check the fuel, make sure it ain't leaking. I don't see no leaking. I don't see no puddles down in there. It's not misfiring. The engine is running pretty good. Sounds good. Unless you just gotta listen. We'll be selling this tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna miss you, but we're going on to bigger and better things, aka Holly. So it was a fun run with the 1320 Ford and Manifold. We're we'll back to stock just for a little bit. You know, nothing too crazy. But listen closely, you don't hear no howling noise, no uh, suction coming from the engine, which would be a vacuum loop. And uh, yeah, everything is running good after you're done shut the hood and hit the road but yep this is how you guys change out a manifold in depth um, use it for a cobra jet as well use it to swap on an older manifold or a new manifold to old jane coyote same process on 18 here's how to do it vice versa the same exact thing no differences at all 